Pineapple on pizza is absolutely atrocious. Sparkling all the way. It tastes disgusting. Obviously a waffle fry. We don't need that populating this world. Only the pink flavors. It's science. It's the strongest shape. Hey, this is Kwame Anwachi and I'm playing highly debatable. What is not debatable is my book. And you need to go get your copy of Notes from a Young Black Chef. I think we all know the answer to that. If we had to choose between Padma and Tom, it'd be Padma. I mean, that's 90, that's a no brainer right there. When I'm in the kitchen, I'm making savory things. I leave the sweet things to other people because I just like to eat ice cream and it's a process to make that. So I'm more of a savory kind of guy in the kitchen. In my opinion, the best holiday is New Year's because it gives people a chance to like rethink where they're going, where they want to be and who they are. In my pantry, I must have watermelon sour patch and pink starburst. Only the pink flavor. Don't give me that orange. Don't give me that yellow. Just give me the pink one. Let's, 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 let's make it taste good at all times. My kitchen appliance that I have to have has got to be my Vita Prep by Vitamix. It's a blender, high horsepower. I can make anything from protein shakes to a puree. Pineapple on pizza is absolutely atrocious, and whoever started that needs to be uh, excommunicated from from Earth. Whenever we do send out those things, those pods to the other planets, wh whoever invented that or is a descendant of whoever invented that needs to be sent out first because we don't need that. We don't need that populating this world. Sparkling or still water, is that really a question? Sparkling all the way. We are in the wave of LaCroix. LaCroix, I need to buy stocks in because uh, I'm putting their their grandbabies through college here. Uh, I, I, drink, I drink a lot of water now because of it. And anything from the watermelon flavor to the peach pear to the razzle dazzle, all, all of it is great. Coffee, coffee all day. I don't like coffee though, it tastes, it tastes disgusting, but I use it for fuel. I just take an espresso, I always get a quad, chug it down and then get on with my day. I'm not someone that's like, well, you know, can I have the cold brew with a slow drip or whatever? No, just give me an espresso, let's get it out of here. The best French fry shape is obviously a waffle fry. There's so much texture, you know, but it's gotta be done right. It's gotta be crispy. Close second is curly. Then after that, they're just all potatoes, so they taste great anyway you give them to me, but but it's waffle with close second is curly. Crinkle cut is at the end. It's at the end. My favorite type of dumpling is a uh, Shanghai style dumpling. So it's kind of like a soup dumpling that's crispy on the bottom. So you get best of both worlds. You get a nice crunch. You get that like explosion of flavor. Uh, you can drink it if you want. That, that's, my that's my favorite type of dumpling is the Shanghai style dumpling. <sighs> that's a tough one for me. Depends on the mood, but if I had to, like this is doomsday, you gotta choose one or the other. Mm, I guess it would be a waffle. It's got crispiness, crunchy, still sweet, and satisfies that, that sweet tooth in the morning. If I was to make a sandwich right now, it would probably be like an Italian sub, like salami, really good ham, uh, pepperoni, provolone melted and unctuous, some nice spicy aioli, banana peppers on a really, really nice like hero style bun and like toasted on both sides. Delicious, satisfies every everything that you want in this world. For square, for square sandwiches, obviously I'm cutting it into triangles. Am I a serial killer? Why would I cut it into two other squares? What's the point of that? And they last longer when they're in triangles. It's science. It's the strongest shape. Who cares? Just put it on. I'm glad there's toilet paper in the room when I need it. That's a dire piece of equipment. I think I think women probably 
noticed that more because they use it for every, you know, bathroom incident. So, but for guys, it's like, uh, I'm just glad there's so maybe sometimes it's even just hanging on top of the thing. It's not even in the roll. <laughs> it's just there. Thanks for tuning in to Highly Debatable. Once again, this is Kwame Onwachi. Go get the book before it becomes a movie. You wanna know the scoop before you see it on the screen, right? See y'all later.